Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be answering some more questions about Mysteria. Mainly about the best armor and weapons in the game. Now, if you already know the answer to these questions, uh, feel free to click off. It's okay. But anyways, the answer to these questions are easy yet complicated because one... This area updates pretty often, and they're adding new weapons behind the scenes a lot, and then it gets updated frequently. So, it's kind of hard to keep up with. And, also, many people have many different opinions on what is the best armor and weapon. So, as of right now, you know, do your research. Everything will be linked down below, and... Do your research before you decide what's the best weapon for you. Anyways, let's get on to the video. Uh, as for what's the best weapon, there's four different categories you should be looking at. The adventurer, the, and the three factions. Um, mainly because everybody can use adventure weapons, even when you're in a faction, but you can't once you're in a faction, you can't use other faction weapons, and if you're an adventurer, you can't use faction weapons, because it'd be kind of silly to be either an adventurer or in a particular faction and use a different faction weapon, because it kind of really wouldn't make sense to be using a hunter weapon as a mage, or, like, you get the idea. So if you were going to be an adventurer, an OG stick, depending on how it's upgraded, and or a axe, what axe, or I think it's an oak axe actually, would be the best ones for you. It just depends on you though. For mage, it would be the web staff. For the warriors, it would be the royal fang. And for the hunters, depending on what you're going for, if you're going to be a ranger, it'd be the spider leg bow. And for the um, melee, it would be a tie between the spider fang dagger and the icicle. Honestly, do your research on both the spider fang dagger and the icicle before you choose which one you like, because some people have a preference. Moving on to armor, the same categories which I mentioned earlier is going to be applied. For adventurers, mushroom hat and city guard pads are the best option unless you're going to be a max level adventurer. Then wrecking bucket and yeti boots will be essential after level 20. As for the factions, costume gear is your best option. Of course, as you're leveling up, all the other gear is really useful until you can get enough money for the best armor. Just as a final little reminder, what everybody uses for weapons and armor is their business, and they're allowed to use it for whatever reasons. So don't go picking on people for wearing armor and using weapons that they want to use. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment down below. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.